super excited to heli. Really nervous though. Left zone looked so sick too. Jake is like the sticks everything pretty much that kid, you know. We had a few down days in Alaska, you know. Shane's always a good motivator. We could just shoot 007 looking shots all day. I'm going crazy to get up there. Lucas was pretty sick. You could see that he's from the, the real shred zone. First line gets up on a, like a heavy line. Volley just blew my mind. I mean, this stuff, he would pull out of his sleeves. Volley dropped for his line. He cracked the pillow off. Super excited to heli. Really nervous though. It's not really up there, huh? Uh, it is right now with all this new snow. Yeah. That's why we're taking a couple days down here. A lot of weather when we came in, so we decided to stay in Juno for a couple days. Instead of sitting, you know, like riding Eagle Crest. We rode Eagle Crest yeah, because last I'm week. Yeah. It's like a little mini Mount Baker. Yeah, that's all I hear. Yeah. yeah. In Alaska, you have couple good weather days and you need to be on it and so many days you just do that drive and okay it's not worth it and you drive back so that's the game. I'm in shock just because this whole crew that's coming in and everything it's like it's like a dream trip you know. Dude first time Hellion and Haynes with, with that crew. Nicholas, Vole and Blavel. It's like unreal. It hasn't really sunk in yet. With Vole, because like you know, he does get into really gnarly stuff, but then at the same time, he makes the the mellow stuff look so fun and just like it doesn't always have to be like some gnarly stuntman line. Left zone looked so sick too, huh? I know. With all those fingers and mm -hmm. natural hits and stuff. Is he pretty safe over there, riders left? I wouldn't use that word. Just from the riding perspective, I'm think you're not able to trigger the down to 90. If you do, it might be big. Just learning from them up there gave me a lot of good confidence. Riding with Vole is really cool, just seeing how he flows in and out. Vole is probably the best rider on this planet, but he would never say it. Vola is the humble ninja. Just in camp, um, we had a small release, rode out of it fine. Justin, you have a copy? Because as soon as Vole dropped for his line, he cracked the pillow off. When the first one broke, you know that there was some little spider web things going on, so I managed just to stop and, and watch the whole thing go. By the time it got past me, it was like, it was a full-on avalanche. Turn, turn, pop, onto the rib, another turn or two, and then a big slash, and disappear out. Sounds like a sick run, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so dope. Turn, 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 pop. I want to do that run, too. <laughs> Anybody not want to do that run? <laughs>
was uh, really good to, to catch that motivation, you know. Jake is like, uh, sticks everything pretty much that kid, you know. It's like one of the best all-around snowboarders I've seen. You know, my goal for this year, I really want to get up to Alaska, you know, I feel like I'm, that style of riding suits what I like and uh, of course it's been a dream of mine to get up here forever. And now I'm here in the town, I haven't seen any of the terrain yet, but uh, I'm going crazy to get up there. We had a few down days in the last, played around, you know, Shane's always a good motivator on, on days like that. Okay, let's go cruise guys, come on. Time's in Alaska. Fade away, it depends how much you hit the bar on down days, you know? Yeah, do you see that pole on the side of the road? We could just bend bend over and and uh, jam it up real quick. <laughs> or we could just shoot 007 looking shots all day. <laughs> oh. Not a shitty day. Hanging at 33. You got a shot though. Stayed in the biggest, in the tallest building of Haynes, which was four stories high. Every morning we could perfectly see, see the weather, you know, and uh, had our own fire ladder, you know, going down in the little balcony and stuff. So. How's it feeling? Oh, I've only been waiting for this day for like eight years, so. I was dreaming about Elliot last night. Fucking Tim opened the door, he's like, it's blue, and I was just fucking bolted upright. Like, then you called us. Gordon. Alaska is definitely priority number one, at least for me, and I think for most of the people shooting for Epson, and I think it's the most footage you see in the Epson movies is, is Alaska, and that's what the people want to see. His first line, yeah, his first line was on Caffeine Ridge, and Lucas just, yeah, first line gets up on a, like a heavy line, full on blind rollover, and into like, into some stuff where you wouldn't want to go the wrong way at all. Just stepping to something like that right off the bat, it was like, all right, Lucas means business up here, you know, he's not gonna, just gonna sit in the back seat. Definitely got a different game plan for tomorrow. Yeah, you gotta get on my program. Riding stuff. fast Vole. down mellower shit makes way more sense. Lucas was pretty sick, it was cool to watch watch this kid, you know. His approach to the mountain was was so different. You could see that he's from the, the real shred zone. I've always seen Alaska as kind of like the, uh, the Super Bowl, if you will, of Filming snowboarding, I don't know, I'm stoked. I have no idea really what to expect or how I'm going to perform. But, you know, growing up, I was watching people like Tex Davenport and Rankwit and all those guys, and every spring they went up to Alaska and it was just like the gnarliest thing ever, you know? They were just ripping and came back with all these stories and it's finally my turn after years of waiting, so I couldn't be more stoked to be here right now. Okay, ready for you, buddy. Hell yeah! I rode a lot of Bodhi, and Bodhi just blew my mind. I mean, the stuff he would pull out of his sleeves, wizard sleeves.
highlight for sure was Bonzo Steel with Bodhi. Wow, on top, it's like, oh look, this is Cliff, you can do a little bother thing and try a little bother, and then he drops in just like a headlight flip off a pillow. <laughs> And then this other cliff that I've hit in more, when I, ju I did just like an ollie. I did a switch ollie this time, and he's like, what do you think, like chicane or something? I'm like, go for it. And he landed like, Phew. like watching the movie, he's like. Body Mario, you can do every single trick with talent, even tricks we don't think about. <laughs> Being on top of one of those lines, and looking down, it's scary just to think about. He like rides in a couple of turns and like see like yeah, he's going like slow, he's like, what's he doing? And then he like he takes off and he goes like Bam! One foot! I'm like, what? It landed it. Amazing. Unfortunately, the next day though, he, he landed a little bit weird and he tweaked his knee a bit. So he decided to go in. Um, so my crew was just myself as a rider. And so we decided to hook up with Justin and, and his crew. And Jake was over there by himself just packing a jump and he's like, hey, do you want to hit this jump with me? I was like, please, like, hell yeah. And then the magic Jake session. 